Hi, it's Pastor Jonathan Bernardo from uh, Green Hills Christian Fellowship Peel here in uh, the province of Ontario, Canada. And it's great to drop in again and be a guest in, in your journey through God's Word uh, this week. We've come to the middle of this week as usual, and we hope that this continues to be uh, a valuable uh, addition to how you study and meditate on God's Word. Today's uh, reflection takes us to this exciting verse in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. And it says, as iron sharp sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And this has been a favorite verse of mine uh, because my particular interest is in, in coaching and mentoring uh, people, uh, particularly uh, young men who are, of course, coming in as our, the next generation. And it's especially important for us to consider the implication of this verse. And one, one implication of this is, of course, that we are meant to connect with one another. We are meant to have that personal, intimate relationship that's meaningful and productive. And I know it's especially difficult nowadays with the pandemic and with the confinement in our homes and the lack of interaction that we have but we can do this in many different ways. In fact, this pandemic has brought other opportunities where we can engage with one another uh, in a way that's uh, also conducive to having that deeper uh, connection. I know we can't meet, but on one hand, we don't have to sort out all the logistics that we need to normally in order to determine the time and place where we should meet. But more importantly, it's the spirit of this verse that's uh, really uh, that we need to consider. And one thing is that in engaging one another, in connecting one another, in building a relationship with one another, it's natural that we will, not, uh, we will have frictions, right? An iron cannot sharpen another iron unless they come into contact with each other. And this contact produces friction. And that's why the idea of sparks flying is uh, included in one translation that I came across. I believe that's the, the, uh, the learning, by, uh, the living uh, Bible. It connotes the idea that there's going to be friction. There's going to be contact that's made, but we will come out better. And that's what it means by sharpen. We, we will not be dull. We will, uh, we will not be stagnant. We will continue to improve. And this idea of being uh, better people comes out from engagement and contact. And of course, that's not only the, the point. The most important point is that we are meant to be in relationship, it's sort of like skin to skin, face to face contact. Just imagine what Jesus did for us. His prophetic name is Emmanuel, God with us. He literally abandoned his throne and came to us in the form of a man Fully man, fully God, still intact, but having that deep and intimate connection with us. I can imagine the uh, Apostle John reclining on the near Jesus Christ and having that touch point with him. Jesus Christ even washed their feet. So Jesus Christ already demonstrated this for us. And in that interaction, we have come out not only better, we have come out saved. Salvation happens when we have that deep spiritual connection with who Jesus Christ is. And he wants us to do the same with each other. So think about that, consider that, especially in this time where our ability to connect and to interact with each other is much reduced. How can you cultivate this connection? How can you enhance this intimacy and relationship even while we are distant? God bless you and see you again next week.